Hello students. So in this video, we will be solving question number 4 of P4 June 2024 paper. So basically question number 6, if we see question number 4, basically question number 4 is from differentiation. That is the concepts of this question has been discussed in chapter number 5 of your P4 book. So let's get started with question number 4. Okay. So in question number 4 you can see that there is a circle there is a circle given a sketch in figure 1 given so here they are asking figure 1 shows a sketch of a segment PQ, PQRP okay so this is a segment you can see a segment of a circle with center O and radius the radius of the circle is what? five centimeters okay so what are the details given here let's see given that angle POR is a theta radians the angle POR you can see on the figure it's theta radians okay the angles are measured in radians you have to keep an eye on that okay so theta is increasing they say theta is increasing from 0 to pi at a constant rate of 0 0.1 radians per second so this is basically what d theta the rate of change of what the rate of change of angle d theta over dt is given as how much 0 0.1 0 0.1 radians per second okay so this is given okay fine the area of the segment pqrp is a centimeter squared okay so the area is a centimeter squared now the main question is in part a show that dA over d theta there is the rate of change of a with respect to theta it is equals to k times 1 minus cos theta this is for two marks this is for two marks okay so at first figure out what is a a is what a is basically the area of the segment what is segment segment is which part this part is a segment this part is a segment okay so we have to find out the area of this segment okay so definitely we know the formula for finding the area of a segment that we learned in AS maths PO mathematics 1 in P1 we have learned this the area of a segment is what the area the area of a segment so a equals to what half of r squared here the radius is what the radius is 5 so that should be what half of r squared is 5 squared times theta minus what sine theta theta minus sine theta right we know this formula okay so this is the area of the segment so a equals to what half of r squared so 5 squared is what 25 over 2 times theta minus what sine theta right so this is the area of the segment now we have to differentiate we have to differentiate a with respect to what theta so d a over d theta would be what it should be the coefficient the coefficient of this uh, bracket of like of the terms with theta it is what 25 over 2 so coefficient will get multiplied 25 over 2 times derivative of theta is what 1 and the derivative of sine theta is what cos theta so 1 minus what cos theta that's it that's what the question asked for isn't it okay so we got the value for k k is equals to what k is equals to 25 over what 2 that's the value for k done now next is part b in part b what they have asked for find in centimeter squared per second the unit is given the rate of increase of the area of the segment when theta equals to pi over so we need to find out the rate of increase of the area that is rate of increase of area is what da over what dt this is the rate of change of area okay now how can you find out the rate of increase of the area how can like to find out the rate of increase of the area we need at first an equation for da over dt right so 
it is basically from rates of change part of differentiation. So dA over dt, we have to represent dA over dt in terms of the known rate of change equations. Okay, so let's see how can we represent dA over dt, dA over dt. So in order to have dA over dt, let's see what are the quantities, what are the rates of change equation we know at first just in the previous question we got dA over d theta so we can use dA over d theta so look dA at the top dA at the top in the numerator right so now we need to eliminate d theta so in order to eliminate d th theta so let us multiply the top by d theta okay and we want to have d theta at the bottom so we will put what d theta at the denominator dt at the denominator not d theta d theta is at the numerator we will put dt on the denominator done okay now let's see d theta over dt is it known to us definitely it is known to us it's given in the question yes it's given in the question so we can write da over d theta da over d theta is what 25 over 2 times what 25 over 2 times 1 minus what cos theta cos theta times what was the value for uh, d, th d theta over dt it was it was increasing right 0 0.1 so it was 0 0.1 0 0.1 the unit is what centimeter squared the unit is very important centimeter square per second right so 0 0.1 is what 1 over 10 so 1 over 10 times 25 over 2 what's what would be the value so that should be 5 over 2 so this will be 5 over 4 okay we will get 5 over 4 so dA over dt okay dA over dt equals to what 25 over 2 times 1 over 10 this is 5 over 4 right okay so 5 over 4 times what 5 over time uh, 5 over 4 times 1 minus cos theta 1 minus cos theta okay so we got the equation for dA over dt now they said the value for theta is what pi over 3 pi over 3 so if the value of theta is pi over 3 then the rate of change of area rate of increase of area since it is positive so it will be rate of increase so that should be what 5 over 4 times 1 minus cos theta cos theta is what cos pi over 3 is basically cos 60 degree and cos 60 degree is nothing but half okay so 5 over 4 times half this is what 5 over 8 centimeter squared this is 5 over 8 centimeter squared per second and that's the answer for part b of question number four from p4 june 2024 that's it